Welcome to Lost Episodes in American History. I'm Dr. Keenan Curitan, your host for this series. Ever been lost before? We're here at the United States Capitol Building and I can tell you that even though this is the most recognizable building in all the world, once you're inside those hallways, it's very easy to get lost. And I know what you're thinking. It appears that many of our elected officials who work in the Capitol have lost their way. Well, I'm here to suggest that much of the problem on Capitol Hill stems from misunderstanding. A misunderstanding of who we are as a nation and how we got to be that way. We've lost the heart and soul of our history as a nation. And this did not happen by accident. Karl Marx, the father of communism, is often attributed with saying, take away the heritage of people and they are easily persuaded. For several generations now, cultural elites and historical revisionists have presented us with a new version of American history. For example, in our public schools, children learned that America's first settlers were a chance collection of adventurers, religious extremists, and aristocratic slave owners, here only for economic gain. When it comes to our founding fathers, your kids are taught that these men were not inspired or motivated by their faith, but they were really just a bunch of atheists, agnostics, and deists who were more inspired by the European Enlightenment than from biblical principle. For decades, students have been taught that America is a secular nation. God has been omitted from the public school classroom because he really had no bearing on the founding of our country. But nothing could be further from the truth. This little book proves the revisionist history is totally wrong. This is a New England primer. It's the main public school textbook used to teach children the alphabet for over 200 years. In this book, the alphabet is taught using Bible verses and biblical language. Let me give you a couple of examples. In the rhyming alphabet, it starts with A, in Adam's fall, we send all. And then it goes to Z, which says, Zacchaeus he did climb the tree, our Lord to see. One read through the primer proves that the public school classroom used to be more like a Sunday school class than what we have today. This book was the primary public school textbook up until 1900 in some states. Still not convinced? This little book is by Noah Webster, and it was called The Blue Back Speller. You probably used Webster's Dictionary, but this little grammar book was used in America's schools for over a hundred years, selling multiple millions of copies. Here's a sample lesson on multiple syllable words. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Virtue exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Recognize where those samples come from? They come from the pages of God's Word. Noah Webster's philosophy of education was clear. The Christian religion is the most important and one of the first things in which all children under a free government ought to be instructed. You know, God Himself warns us about forgetting history. Ancient Israel suffered major consequences when they lost the memory of their spiritual heritage. Judges 2.10 tells us, after that whole generation had been gathered to their fathers, another generation grew up who knew neither the Lord nor what He had done for Israel. So after one generation had died, the next forgot what God had done. As a result of forgetting their history, Israel became idol worshipers. So God allowed them to be oppressed by people who were hostile to the Lord. We could be on the same road today. That's why these lost episodes in American history are so important. We need to redig the wells of historical truth. We do not want to end up like ancient Israel.